So, this is my uh, nasty uh, thing I used yesterday for cutting. I didn't want to make like a complete table uh, for plasma cutting. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm just trying some stuff. I'm not gonna spend gazillion euros, but I need something a little bit more sturdy. So I thought about using steel and magnets and why? Um, I don't have a torch height control, so it's nice if it is rather flat, so I can set it once and it works. Now when you cut metal, it will bend, depending on where the heat is more pronounced, I guess. So I thought maybe I can make a table, and it's only usable for thin steel, that uses magnets to like clamp it. So it doesn't like bend all over the place. Not sure if it works. First problem I spotted is that this piece is also metal and I'll show you what I wanted to make. So I got these pieces and I wanted to add a magnet here. Maybe even two at some spots. If it fits. Then add another ma ma piece of metal. Ooh. Then we should have uh, something you will recognize from a workshop or a kitchen where you put your knives like this. So you use both sides of the magnet to create a rather strong field here. So I'll add this in the pan. Now by adding this in the pan it shorts out the magnetic field a little bit because this is also steel which is too bad but hopefully we're still... yeah. Oof. I might actually not need two magnets, maybe one is more than enough because this is a bit too much. Let's try one. I couldn't find thinner material. It's too bad. This might be a bit too thick um, because it might interfere with the cut like cut this a little bit and blow back molten metal into the workpiece which is not ideal but you know uh, I'm just trying I have more magnets where are they oh here so and we got our simple cutting bed thing Sort of. So that's attached piece of steel, see if it works. Might not be able to get it off. No, no, that's gonna work. You see, nice and flat. Maybe if I bend it a little bit. So it's warped. flat. So that should work. <sighs> so. Cool. Fill it up with some water. Ta-da! table for people that don't own a uh, welder or money <laughs> so my first real test it's gonna be a frame uh, I noticed a few things that the cut width of a plasma is not always it's not only determined by the amperage but it's also the speed so what I thought was 
not enough speed in the corners that makes it wider. Essentially that is the case, but uh, it's more the other way around. In the straight parts the speed was too high, why, and that's why the cut width was smaller. So there are two things. If you cannot go faster in the corners, you might have to go slower on the straight pieces. That's my idea. So I'll try this on 20 amps, one millimeter steel and three meters a minute. And for smaller holes, slightly slower or 2.7 meters a minute. And on small holes, even slower because it tends to do weird things. So let's see what it does. It's gonna be my first full thing. And I wonder how long it takes. It's one of those frames from the old Neo tweeters I made. There we go. Goggles on. It's so fucking cool. So what do we learn from this? Besides, I might need more water in there. So a few did not cut. I wonder why. Oh, it did. It was just resting on a piece of steel. Uh, it does make the cut look shit. Which I was afraid of. So this piece here has crap on it now. So yeah, everywhere it touches the support, it becomes uglier than it should be. It's all also out of whack. Why is that? Okay, I'm gonna clean it up and let's see what we got. There's a few things going on and I'm not sure what it is. It might be... No, I have no clue, really. I'll check it out. So, I cleaned it up a bit. Uh, it's not looking perfect, I must say. But I did notice some, some things. Where it touches the metal where it's resting on, it will screw up and you got these holes. Uh, at the same time, these look quite okay, but a few are not. So, I wonder if the arc sometimes stops too early. That might be the case because, yeah, that might be the case. I'll have to delay that, see if that helps. The holes are pretty decent. Size-wise, it might be all over the place. 4.5. I opted for 5. 
uh, for four. So that's actually quite decent. It's not completely round, so it might have slightly slight trouble in keeping that speed going. This hole is not so nice. Some are nicer than others, so I might need to go a little bit slower, which results in a little bit more draws, but might end up in a little bit nicer looking hole in the end. Same goes for these weird thingies there. This should be five, sort of. So slightly over. This should be three. So that's, it's quite close. And then it looks a bit wonky, if you ask me. It looks a bit like, like this. If I get a square, I can maybe check it. I think I lost steps because of the very high acceleration. <laughs> 